Welcome back to the Talos Principle. Zone number one and zone number two are both completed. Although they are both still missing the star, and I have no idea where they are. And that unlocked my ability to go inside of this elevator. So there's still plenty of puzzles. There's, there's a lot of puzzles still left back here. But I want to know where this goes. Apparently I'm in the basement at the moment. You have proven yourself worthy, child. And this gate shall be forever open to you. Seek now the other worlds I have given you, that you may attain even greater mastery, and bring glory to your kind. But remember, you must not ascend the Great Tower, for it shall bring death and the end of your generations. This place has a very different aesthetic. Down there it was almost like Egyptian or Roman or something. And this is just like a dingy old factory. Whoa. So that's the great tower that I must not ascend or I'll kill everyone. Or so he says. I don't know. I see an elevator shaft there, and I feel like going up. Building C. There's a lot of stuff here. Is this... is this snow? Yeah, it must be snow. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. This place is gorgeous. I'm afraid of that tower. There's something terrible inside it. Never think about it. Don't even look at it. Just focus on doing the work. So I can just go up if I want to. It's funny, now that I've been given so much freedom, I don't even know what to do. Because I could just I could just do all of this stuff. Even though there's still tons, there's probably like five plus hours of puzzles left down there. But I could just go here. I mean, what's inside of building C? Let's go look. Okay, so that I can't get inside of. Alright. I'm gonna come back here later. I don't feel ready for this yet. It's funny, because I feel like doing the puzzles gives me some sort of progress. And I feel like I have to do them. And I feel like I have to do them sort of sequentially. But maybe I don't. Like, maybe it doesn't really matter whether I do them. I mean, I did have to complete some of them just to be able to open this. But what if I just go to the elevator and just go up? I mean, not this one, but once I go in this elevator, go up, and then what if I go into the other elevator? The one that goes up the, the massive tower. What if I just go up there? Maybe I don't even need to do these puzzles. Maybe it's all just a game. To Elohim. Maybe I don't have to play by his, his rules or his directions. Because he said he didn't want to direct me or he didn't want to guide me, but obviously he, he already has. He's already told me that my purpose is to solve these puzzles, basically. For now, let's just go to number three. This one has two stars.
Boop it. Bleep block. This is AI feedback. We keep discussing what an artificial intelligence would mean to us, and how it could change our understanding of the world. That's a great topic, and I think we've covered it extensively. What we've barely mentioned, though, is the other side of the coin. I mean, our lives would still be what they were before, AI or no AI. The question I think we should discuss, even if it's all completely hypothetical, is the perspective of the artificial intelligence itself. What would it be like to be that creature? To suddenly come into being, created by others as an experiment. To have all the information about yourself, to know exactly how you function. What would you think about the world? Would you see meaning? Beauty? How would you judge humanity? Where would you see yourself fitting into the grand scheme of things? I think we should try to put ourselves into the shoes of such a being. Dear Alexandra, thank you for your feedback, but this is a philosophy course, not science fiction. And that's why I almost gave up on my studies. Ah, oh, what a shitty teacher. What a really shitty teacher. Hmm, this one's .wiki. All the others have been .eml files. We're blessed to have so many great people contributing to this project. Or, not great people, but just people. But we've got to make sure everyone is on the same page. Please refer to the following people when something, something, something. Okay, hold on. The first one is Alexandra Drennan. And this is Dear Alexandra. Right, and Alexandra has... Uh, she was young, right? Really young, so I'm assuming she hadn't been out of college all that long? And this is obviously back from when she was still studying, since, that, since she said that's why I almost gave up on my studies. So she was very interested in artificial intelligences and and how they would behave and what they would think and and that sort of stuff and now she's the project lead slash AI module wait what does that mean AI module AI module I'm not quite sure what that means I guess she's just responsible for the artificial intelligence module? Because, I mean, there's scenario module, simulation module. Hmm. Though not directly part of our project, the archive team is sharing both physical and digital space with us. If there are any technical issues to resolve, please contact the project lead. Something something, don't worry, he's nice. All right, what is this wiki file? Stratton of Strageria. Or, no. Stratton of Stagiria. Was a Greek materialist philosopher associated with the Peripatetic... Peripatetic. Yeah, Peripatetic school. An admirer of Aristotle, he was a proponent of empiricism and a fierce critic of philosophy that placed belief before observable truths. Though unpopular with many of his peers for his often acerbic personal manner, his commentaries on Aristotle were considered an important work. Much of, much of his writing was lost in the destruction of the Library of Alexandria. Well, let's pick a place and go to it. I choose you! 
stashed for later. I'm trying to use the names of these places. Uh, the names of these puzzles as hints for what I'm supposed to do. So stashed for later. So I'm supposed to stash something. Alright, I can't take that away or I'm going to blow up. So I need to stash something. Ooh. That's new. Alright, so that's what I need the keys for. Holy crap, this puzzle's actually... There's, there's a lot to this puzzle. There's a lot of things. So this should allow me to go back and get this one, right? Yeah, because I can just do it from afar. And then yoink this. Alright. Now I've got two. Now yeah, I might as well just let it pass. I think I'm going to need both of these to disable both guns. around here. Keep looking for stars. Okay, so there's differently colored shapes, and there's also different shapes. But there's not that many colors or that many shapes. Which means you can see what I just got will allow me to unlock a chamber or a room C or whatever you want to call it. But it can obviously obviously be used to unlock other things. So I, I don't have to use it for C, right? I can use it for whatever I want. It just so happens that C is the one that's displayed right now because it's the last one I looked at. So I kind of just added it to my my thing. I keep trying to break the levels and jump over walls. There might be a star back there, I don't know. I don't know, they have a lot of safeguards on stuff. Like when I jump on top of this stuff, it just kind of slides me off. Yeah. Ooh. I'm not the first to walk this path. In fact, the whole thing seems to have been consciously designed, but by the voice in the sky? Or some other force?
That seemed too easy. I felt like something was going to come out and explode in front of me or something. That's it? Wait, where's the actual thing? Oh, right, down here. Uh, actually, let's... Go ahead and take these through. I'm probably gonna need both. That's the first ladder I've seen. Ooh, and I just unlocked the ability to unlock the... prism... reflection... things. There's a star somewhere. Where are the stars? Alright, I'm going back and I'm gonna unlock this thing. There is much that you may learn in the halls of my temples, for there is much that you do not know. That is why you are a child. But children are made to learn, and in time they come to have dominion over the lands of their home. So it shall be with you and your generations. I think the only thing I learned there is that I was excited to get a thing, and then the thing was taken away from me, into the floor. So really, I just learned about disappointment. Yay, disappointment! No, it's actually in the bottom left of my screen. A little icon down there. But I don't know what that means. Can I access it? Like, do I permanently have one of those with me, or what? Like, I don't really know what that means. a red piece. I've never gotten a red piece before. An escalating problem. Ooh, what's that? What, what did that say? Something popped up. Here, those who are worthy may seek the counsel of my blessed messengers. But their wisdom shall not be given easily, for your accomplishments must be your own. The messengers. So it's the people that dedicate themselves to understanding and collecting the stars and stuff like that. He said those, those people will be allowed to become messengers, right? And that's what he said when I came across that door that was locked. Oh, you know what? I've heard this game has a hint system, and I think this might actually be it. I think this might be the hint system. I spent much time waiting for the designer to take my hand, until I realized that he had been guiding me all along. I realized that it isn't for me to seek his help. It is for me to help myself. Uh, in other words, don't use the hint system is what it's saying. I want to see what happens, though. Hmm. The counsel of my blessed messengers must be earned. 
If Elohim's messengers can read this, one of his flock is in need of aid. That's actually marked with my name. Version 99.115.0009. A messenger must be awakened first. Autoresponder. Hmm. Interesting. It's like a little prison in here. In fact... The fact that this is here, but I can just easily get around it myself, implies that this is not for me, but instead, for me to trap that thing. So why don't you go on up? There we go. Level's actually quite large. Hmm. I can jump over that. Do I need that one jammer? I need to bring it here, don't I? Unless I can find a way to jump over. So how... How do I get you over here? Are you really the only jammer? Oh. Wait. Huh? Oh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think... Wait, is that gonna work? Let, let me try this. Maybe I can grab it from up there. Thing is, though, I think it might kind of, like, move me towards it. And stop me from doing that. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. It only does that when you're trying to, like, uh, move it through one of these uh, force field things. Because then it kind of teleports you towards it, so that you can't just grab one through one of the force fields, but it looks like it doesn't do that if you're just picking it up. This super fast FPS movement. Like, we. It's like I've got a jet engine strapped to my ass. I see. This is an escalating problem, isn't it? Like, great, I can disable that. Well. <laughs> okay, it's back up. It's still the only jammer I have. Um. 
Wait a minute. Maybe I can blow up the gun. Hold on. Let's see what you do. I want to see its navigation path. Maybe I can get it to come all the way over here. Let's see what it does. Is it going to turn the corner? Oh, it does. I think that's what I need to do. Yes, 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 yes. Come here. Come here. Please, please, come in. Yes, yes, come in. Oh, crap. I think it's going to block it. Uh, oh, oh, wow. That's quite the explosive radius. I'll take it. So wait, it doesn't blow up at the gun, it blows up when it hits one of these jammers? Is that what just happened? Huh. Either way, it worked. I'm looking for a gold star. I saw something yellow and got excited, but... Nope, that's just, uh, some flowers. Where are these freaking gold stars? I don't know. They're mythical. They don't exist. That was a really satisfying puzzle. And look at that, there's something special about the red ones. Because if you look at the top left, it... I, I didn't collect, like, a normal shape, it's just like a dot. And it's got a number next to it. So there's something special about the red ones. I don't know, perhaps the red ones are extra hard, or something? What the hell is that? Um... Why is there a light switch in this pillar? Are there light- there's- There's light switches in all the pillars. Four. Three. Two. One. What does it go up to? Goes all the way up to... That's 24, right? Is that 24? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... I'm not gonna count it, forget it. Is this for me to enter a password of some sort? There's a lot of mysteries in this game, there's a lot of stuff going on. Let's just press one. Okay, so it just stays down. Yeah, so this is for entering a combination. I gotta be on the lookout for something that could give me a combination of some sort. So any number from 1 to 24. Hmm. That would have been very easy to miss. Well, maybe not that easy. already disabled. Okay. Oh. A bit tied up. I see what they mean by that. So there's two more jammers in there, but I can't really get them yet. Well, I can definitely get this one. That's easy. And then, oh, I suppose I can get this one too. Well, three should be enough. Better be enough. No, okay, so it does explode at guns. So maybe it explodes at both guns and jammers? Go 
ahead and grab this one. I found my first star! And I can actually get it, too! Oh! Oh! Where the hell were the other ones, though? I mean, this one I could at least see. You know, it was dangled in front of you where you're obviously gonna see it. It's just a matter of actually having the jammer with you to get at it. But the other ones I never even saw. Okay, is that all of them? I think it is. Yeah, looks like it. Beep boop. Something new. Yeah, I just got one of the stars. There's another one. Yeah, got them all. What the hell? It's another code I can't read. Wait a minute. Are these actual QR codes? Because if they are, then can't I just read them myself? I'm gonna try it. Um, I'll do this later, but let me just get a good image of this. There we go. I'm just gonna extract that image later and see if I can actually process it. Oh, hello. Well, that's obviously related to the code for these different pillars. Hmm. Let's see what this thing is bleeping about first. Oh, my profile's now been generated. Sure. Let's download it. Congratulations! Your new user account has been registered. Would you like to see the details? Uh, display my psychological profile. Let's see if it thinks I'm human. You may already be criticizing your own performance, but it's clear you understand how the world of ideas affects you, even if you are sometimes wary with the realities and allow your preference to dictate your beliefs. You have a great deal of unused capacity, which you have not turned to your advantage. Disciplined and self-controlled outside, you tend to be worrisome and insecure inside, but you pride yourself as an independent thinker and do not accept other statements without satisfactory proof. Well, that's about as wishy-washy as any horoscope I've ever seen. That could apply to pretty much anybody. What are my privileges? Because this was supposed to be an admin account. Let's see if it actually is. Basic account? Hmm. Due to outstanding notes on your account, and despite displaying many of the characteristics of being a person, you cannot be granted admin status at this time. In the meantime, please enjoy the basic account functionalities. Alright, what's wrong? So what am I missing? User provided a user provided a particular account of personhood but was uncomfortable with its implications. User sought to maximize both liberty and quality of life but these I ideals are incompatible. User had inconsistent ideas about value. I know! I recognize that but I went with it anyway. It's weird, it's almost like it's thinking these indicate that I'm perhaps not human, but I would say the opposite. Inconsistency and... Uh, what's the word? Um, I forgot the word. But yeah, inconsistency is uh, a massive part of being human. What's the word for when you hold, like, m multiple ideas that conflict? Uh, it's a word that describes, like, cordoning off a part of your mind and not allowing it to mix with other parts. I can't remember the damn name of that. 
Cog is it cognitive dissonance? I'm not sure if that's right. Can't access the comm portal unless I have an admin account. Okay. Perhaps in the future it'll test me some more and I can perhaps become an admin? Let's log a report. If you're still encountering a problem, please describe it. <laughs> Arg. Um... Lost admin password. Hmm. If I can get to somebody's email, I could perhaps, you know, get the reset password. Let's just describe the actual problem. Account certification error. You'll receive a notification when a reply has been sent. Okay. Alright. Now what's going on with this? Wait a minute. Is it moving? It's actually moving. You can just barely see it, but it is actually moving. So then how can I use this to enter a password? Do I have to enter a password on whatever it happens to be pointing at? Well, it's about to point to one. Let's make sure I didn't leave any of the other switches down. Nah, I'm good. Eh, let me up. Oh, wait a minute. I just changed the time. Yeah, it's it's like magnetically s attracted to one, like both of the hands are just stuck there. So what if I said one more? Will the hour hand switch to the other one? doing? So it's stuck to something, but neither of them are pointing at one. But one of them is pointing at... Is that 21? Yeah, that's the one I have pressed down. What is going on with this thing? So now the minute hand is pointing to the one I just pressed, but... The hour hand is not pointing at either. Is number one still pressed down? Yes, yeah, so you can't have multiple of them pressed down at the same time. Let's press on two. Does that leave... Oh, you can only have two down at one time. Or wait, did that just... Oh, it just shut off the whole thing, didn't it? Yeah, now time is just continuing, so I can only have two down. Okay, in this case, it actually did set the hour hand to the first one and then the minute hand to the second one. Alright, so that just reset it. That should set the hour hand backwards. This should set the minute hand forwards. 
just want to make sure I understand how this thing actually works. Is that correct? I think it is. Yeah, so the first one you set is the hour hand, the second one is the minute hand. Okay, so I think I understand how this works, the relationship between this clock and the switches. However, I was thinking this clock was going to tell me what to press, but it actually doesn't. Because it just... time just keeps going. So if I reset the whole thing... Yeah, it's just going to keep going. So it's not stuck on any particular thing, which means I can't use it to tell like what time it's supposed to be set to. So I there's some external external source of information I need. Something that contains Roman numerals or a time. To know what to set this to. That wasn't any of the logs, was it? Actually I don't even need to use this thing, do I? No, I don't. It's probably quicker just to do this. There's no numbers. Uh, it's just garbledy gook. I don't think I can use any of that stuff. Perhaps something about Stagira? I mean, those are Roman numerals, and he was a Greek materialist philosopher. I don't know, is, is, like, the time of his birth recorded or something? Down to the minute? I'm just gonna write down his name, and maybe I'll check him out later. Stagira. Time capsule. Oh, that's the audio log. Wait, so wait, does that mean the audio lock itself was the time capsule? When I was a little girl. Huh. I guess it was. And maybe there's something in the level. Another clock in the level, or Roman numerals, or something. Or maybe it's in some other level. I think it's time to go back. This game is filled with a very intriguing amount of mysteries. There's so much going on. I mean, on its surface, it's just a... It's just a pretty straightforward puzzle game. But there's a lot going on under the surface. It's very cool. Okay, so I think I'll end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.